Quincy Wilson makes Team USA in the relay pool. He is the youngest Olympian on Team USA for track and field at 16 years old and 174 days, uh, making that squad for the, the, the relay. What are your thoughts, man? We got this high school kid, sophomore. He's got summer reading that he's got to do still, making the <laughs> Olympic team. Like, this is not like this is another one of them them crazy stories, man. Like, good on him for putting himself in the position to be on that team. And shout out Bullis. Like, Bullis got Masai winning, Quincy winning, or Quincy on this. Like, I hope Coach Joe. I think I mean, uh, yeah, I hope their coach like get him a bag, bro. Right after this, whoo, you gotta give me a bag, man. Or Coach Lee, yeah. sorry. Uh, yeah, Coach Lee. Yeah, man. Shout out to Quincy, dog. Reminds me of somebody else that we know. Sydney McLaughlin. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know, so we'll you see how it goes. Will, I was gonna say, you, you think Quincy Wilson will be the next sit like the reach Sydney McLaughlin levels, you think? I don't want to say it yet because it's like to reach that level is <laughs> insane. But Sydney being the 16-year-old who qualified for the Olympics, you know, it's giving me very similar vibes. Um, but the thing is, when they're that young, you never really know. A lot of them fizzle out. A lot of them become great. A lot of them become all-time great. You know, so it's like there's so much uh, parody or, like, room for anything to happen in, in that situation. So uh, for right now, though, man, we just got to appreciate and, and, uh, and cheer on and support Quincy and what he's doing. You know, that's really it. Yeah, I'm excited for him, dude. Like, that's yeah. that's crazy being able to make that, that Olympic team, like – you know, it, you, you could have easily just said, hey, I'm going to do U20s and and guarantee myself a spot on an individual event. Like you're obviously making the U20 team. Same with Christian Miller. Christian Miller could have easily said, no, I'm going to do the U20 so I can guarantee my spot on this international team. He said, nah, I'm going with the big dogs. Like I'm going to compete with the people that even though I am severely an underdog here, it's going to give me some great experience. Um Look forward to see what that's going to be, um, but ha- happy for him. If he can just run, what, a 44-5? Then, hey, that's all they need. He'll probably be in – my guess is he's going to be in the prelim of the mixed relay. I bet you that's where they put him. Like, I don't – like, I think – I don't. you're, you're not going to make the final of that 4x4. Four four. He ain't running in the final, I don't think. He's going to be probably in the prelim of the mixed relay, maybe the prelim of the regular 4x4 four four relay, but – I yeah. don't see you. He's not going to run the final of either. I don't think unless he has a crazy leg, he would have to run like something. Like absolute, yeah. You'd have to run like a 43, something nutty. Um, so unless he does that, I don't, I don't think he'll be in, in one of them finals, but uh, ha- happy for him, man. Happy for him. Absolutely. I, my pick was for him to be on the prelim, regular prelim, not the mix, just the regular, regular prelim. He'll probably run Bryson Vernon. On the uh, prelim mix, they they did it uh, like maybe two or three different times together. So, mm-hmm. um, but that's for another episode. You know, we'll get all into that stuff. I'm really excited for that stuff, but yeah, we'll get into that later. Yeah, I'm looking forward to see uh, this four by four. That'll be a good. I think we'll have a good uh, put together a good team. You know, Bro, watching more Wilds anchor a four by four is going to be crazy. You think they they no. they you think they put them on it? <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro, I'm bullshitting. But nah, uh, it'll be exciting to see what happens with that and the drama that comes behind it. But I don't think Noah's going to be the anchor. He might be on the team, but anchor is ridiculous. No way. He even I think he said in the interviews, like, yo, don't put me on anchor because if you want to run a good time, I'm going to do just enough to win a race. You ain't going to get a good time out of me. He was like, put me on no. second leg, put me on third no. leg. Because last year we put him on anchor. Me and Dream got their split 44s. Like oh, yeah, y'all man. were on. I forgot you were on that relay. Yeah, first meet of the year. Go crazy. Get him a ton 47. Just jogging it in. Damn, they're probably 48. And I'm like breathing all hard. I stand up and I just see Noah just taking it easy from the 200. And I'm like, bro, come on, bro. He's like, man, we ain't had nothing to run for. The other teams ain't want to race. I was like, I don't care. Bro. Just, whatever, man. So yeah, don't put Noah on anchor. Long story short, don't put him like. Were you on the on the relay when he ran in indoors in that that four by four in indoors? This year, no. Nah. Oh, no, you didn't. I thought that was last year. No, that was this nah. year. Okay, yeah, that was this year. Okay, mixed up, mixed that up. But um, 
Yeah, I was. Yeah, the I saw that. It's like, yeah, don't put them on fourth leg. Put them on three or put them on two or three. Yeah. You might actually get something good out of it. So yeah. there you go. Women's four by four, though. Who do you think is going to be on this women's four by four? Because the thing, Mo, ain't make the team. Like, so do you think they'll just put her in on the? Because like technically, they technically could. They could, but it, they won't. It would be it would be setting a precedent because like they could have done the same thing with Shakari when they and they could have put her on the four by one, but they decided not to. And so if they didn't do it with Shakari, I don't think they'll do it with a thing, Mo. But yeah, who do you think is going to be on this women's four by one, bro, or four by four? Uh, my pop off. It's probably Alexis. My second leg is gonna be Gabby. My third leg is going to be uh, Kendall, and my anchor is gonna be Sydney. Okay, I like yeah. that. What you got? I was thinking Alexis Holmes started off. I was thinking uh, Kendall Ellis, second, third, Shamir Little, and then fourth, I got Sidney McLaughlin. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I was thinking, thinking, like, you know, I like Gabby's 200 speed. Let me throw her on second, get the break. Uh, yeah. That's what I was thinking. Like, I got to look also at the timing of things because yeah. I think what's helpful with Shamir is – because she's not going to be running any individual event, unfortunately, because she missed uh, the 400 hurdles and the 400. So she'll have the freshest legs going out there. So I think that they put her in. They might put her in there. I think what could potentially change would be Alexis Holmes and Kendall Ellis, like on like how perform. Like usually there's going to be someone that doesn't perform well, unfortunately. Like and if you don't, someone doesn't make it out of the semis, like then that spot you gone like we saw that happen with uh you know back in 2021 we, we've had people um you know that 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 got kicked out and i think we could potentially see that with gabby i mean she wanted to run the 400 she's ran a couple four by fours and 400s this year like i could see her definitely being in the mix to go in there but i think that uh sydney's definitely she's in there i, I think that shamir has a really good chance of being in that that mix but we'll we'll see we'll see mm -hmm. yeah Double go to both teams. Do, uh, then, overall, what's your overall takeaways from this meet? Were or any other events that we didn't talk about that you thought were were good ones to to go on over? What's your thoughts on uh, on this thing? Overall, it was a great meet, man. I enjoyed a, a lot of performances. Um, if I were to highlight one person, I think I would highlight Masai Russell. Uh, overall, as far as like having like the most like standout surprise the world kind of uh performance uh was Masai. Um and I think a person that we didn't mention is Hobbs Kessler. I think Hobbs Kessler is a special talent too. Dog. Um, what he was able to do. Uh so I'm excited for Hobbs as well. Obviously Bryce Hopple, like, you know, um yeah. That's kind of like that's kind of like you know, biggest biggest person I'm happiest for is probably Masai and Hobbs. And now I'm excited for the rest of the team. Nice, man. I got a couple people that I was excited for, a couple performances. I mentioned them already. One, Allie Wilson, super, super freaking excited for her. Yeah. Uh, old, old days. I, I was trying to go back in the our old high school yearbook. She was, I think, picked to be most likely to be an Olympian uh, in our high school, in like the high school yearbook. She was in the year above me. I don't have that yearbook from when I was a junior, but I'm Pretty sure she was there. It might have been most likely to be a pro athlete or something, but she's got to post that picture of uh of, of her there. I was also selected most likely to to be an Olympian in in my high school. It did not turn out well for me. I was not an Olympian, but uh, yet who knows? Maybe I'll turn it around at age twenty seven. You never know. Um, so excited for her. Then I got to go with Salif um in triple jump. He's from the NEC. NEC pride. Uh, I remember watching him jump when he was a freshman and I was a senior. And, uh, you know, to think that this guy who comes from FDU, the tiniest conference in division one sports and NEC, it is the smallest schools. And to see him go from conference champion to qualifying for NCAAs to NCAA champion and now Olympian and U S and U S trials champion is ridiculous similar thing with Ali like I've been seeing you go through these things and I thought you were good I think you were this good and that's something that I love 
Uh, then the last one, the last two performances I'm, I'm going to be highlighting on the women's side, Tara Davis Woodall just like got it out the freaking mud. She was, she had fouled her first two attempts in, in the, in the long jump. And she was nervous. She, in her post-race interview, she was like, yeah, that was the most nervous and scared that I've ever been in my entire life. And she eventually, you know, she gets a, a mark on the board, barely, she almost fouls and then eventually wins the thing. But just being able to face that adversity where you're looking into a runway of if I don't have a legal jump, I am going to be out. Like that's a lot of pressure to, to put on yourself. And I was super excited for her. And then the last one that I'll go with is the, uh, uh, I have Bryn King out of Roberts Wesleyan in the pole vault. She is a college athlete division two sets a 20 centimeter personal best. She skips two bars. So she was in ninth place and then, Everyone made the bar but her, so she skipped a bar. And then everyone made another bar but her, so she skipped the next bar. And so she was now above her personal best with one attempt. She had been sitting for like 30 minutes, and it's you make it, you're an Olympian, you miss it, you're in ninth place. And she freaking made it, gets it, becomes an Olympian as a college kid, um, division two or division three. Yeah. Division um, two. That's actually in my hometown. Robert's Wesley. Robert Wesley. Yeah. yeah. So that's awesome. Uh, coached by Jen Schur, the, the lead, the pole vault legend. So who I think also went there, um, mm -hmm. just like big moment for her. Super excited to see that. Like, uh, cool, cool stuff for, for all, all them women, all them people. Yeah. Nice, nice pick up there with Jen Schur there. She's from the, she's from my hometown as well, actually. Oh yeah! Oh, I yeah, didn't know that. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool, man. Small yeah, world. Right. I had no idea. Um, yeah. Awesome. Well, that's going to be it for this episode of the Track World News podcast. Um, for those that have listened to this amount of time, we might have a special guest joining us on a future episode soon. We'll give you a hint. They also have a podcast. I'm not going to tell you who it is. They also have a podcast. That's going to be it. Have a good one. We'll talk to you soon. Like, subscribe, comment. Peace.